Look at this. I got headphones <laughs> on. I got a mic going. <laughs> Baby. Huh? If only people could see you now. <laughs> hey, no video. We've gone through this before. All right, no all video. right, all right. <laughs> Welcome to This Commerce Life. This is a podcast aimed at small, medium entrepreneurs focused on commerce. I'm Phil, your host, and Kenny, your co-host, will join us as well. And we're going to talk to you about the world of retail and commerce and how things are changing in the world. What's going on? What is going on? Oh, um, I don't know, man. I, I, uh, I'm all chill from vacation. I, uh, Still? I, I, no. Well, I, I had kind of... I had not kind of, I had a really busy day today, but just, uh, you know, I'm sleeping in a little bit. I'm dragging my butt a bit. Um, when I'm going at every day, but, uh, <laughs> you know, when I'm going, I'm going. And then, uh, right now I feel like when I'm not going, I'm really not, uh, Nothing wrong with that. you know, like when I'm really not going, but Nothing um, wrong with that. it's only January 3rd. Uh, I know. I know. Right. There's no panic. Where are you going? Man. Man, so many places. Manana. So many places to go, you know? So exactly. many places. But it's all manana. Man- uh, uh, no worries. Always <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, how about you? How are things? Good. Yeah? yeah it's good, man. Yeah. I mean, we painted the bar yesterday, which which was nice. Cool. Nice and clean. Yeah. Did some uh, tidying up there. Today I was out with uh, my two vitamin uh, folks. Yeah. Awesome day. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's a world full of opportunities. Just a world full of opportunities. That's amazing. You're uh, you're helping him. Hopefully, you're helping him turn it around. Is it is it who we were talking about before? Or? Yeah, I think right. we're gonna have to sit and talk. Which is sort of what I sent you today. Yeah, I sent you that text. Yeah, that's kind of that's what it's looking. I, I'm. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot to do on that one, right? And it's just so... <laughs> oh, God bless him. I love him so much, man. So, so Kenny, Kenny and I are talking about this guy. We won't talk about him out in the so open. But, nice, uh, right? But great guy, runs um, a company with lots of potential, but, uh, you know, mm-hmm. kind of pointed in the wrong direction a little bit. Yeah. Um, He's, you know, despite the fact that he's pointed in um, the wrong direction, I think he's getting some momentum and, and kind of grown a little bit. But um, I think when I look at him and I think I'm, I'm reading your face so you can fill in the details, yeah. but, but um, he just, uh, you know, sometimes like people have great businesses and, and you just gotta, you gotta get them focused on the right things. Right. So um, is that kind of the thing is because I tell you what, yeah, heart's all in the right place. <clears throat> uh, He's got some. He's got some ideas. Yeah. Right. Really wants it to go. Yeah. It's just a. It's a bit of a marketing. I think more than anything. It's yeah. just that's the, that's the um. Yeah. Sort of spot that's going to be the issue. So I think it's going to be a matter. And this is something we're going to have to talk about. We can talk a little bit. We can talk about it on air. We're not going to say who it is. Yeah. But one of the things we're going to have to do is take a look at a. Um, it's almost we're going to have to start from um, like honestly from from ground zero. Yeah. You yeah. know what we've got is we've got a product line that I think his aspirational goals would be to become a family type product, definitively focusing on um, um, young moms, moms in general, yeah. moms to be. So that's going to skew a little bit younger, probably 25 to let's say 35 ish, maybe 40. Yeah. Um, and then the aspects of all the family that goes around that type of thing. Yeah. The challenges, you know, I'm going to say it this way because I think people should hear this because I think this is stuff you need to kind of think of when you're doing a business. Yeah. All his um, analytics show that if you're trying to attract a 25 to 40 year old, we're doing a really good job tra- attracting a 65 to 100 year old. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. all the marketing we're doing yeah. is attracting a, a completely different group yeah. than what we're aspiring to attract. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And it's not necessarily a bad thing or a good thing, but what it's what I'll tell you what happened and why you got sort of the text. And he, I, I, he was in front of me, so he knows I was doing this yeah. and we were talking about it. Yeah. Is uh, wants to do um, a video for. Um, 
mainly for the Asian market, I think, because I'll yeah. tell you, I mean, we'll be very generalist here. I'm sure, you know, we've, we, well, we've done racist segments before. So I mean, what's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> you know, who are we going to start here? You're right. Woo. Exactly. Yeah. Go big or go home, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if you're looking at sort of the Asian market to export into the Asian market, have them import your products, especially from North America is one. I think most would prefer to have North American and or some European countries because the trust level of, of what they, uh, um, in some ways, reality and in some ways perceive as mm -hmm. being better comes from here, mm -hmm. right? But the only way to do that is you can't just put made in Canada, made in France, and away you go. They want to know, is there history? How long yeah. have you been in business? How long has yeah. the brand been in business? Is yeah. there distribution? And not just bullshit Amazon distribution. Are, yeah. are you in stores? No, no, real, Because that's yeah. all important to that market yeah. because it, 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 it further... Uh, promotes the trust yeah. that, okay, yes, you are what you say you are. You're Canadian. I know you're more regulated than what I have back in my country. Yeah. And, but okay, but you're, you're in the market and people know your brand and, and brands are big in Asia, as you know, yeah. like people like brands yeah. and why they knock off brands, right? They just love brands, especially big yeah. brands. Yeah. Anyway, so what happened, we started going down that path. And I said, listen, I said, the only challenge with rushing into doing this video, I get why we're doing the video. I just said, but you know, if our core goal is that 25, 35, 25, 40, yeah. you know, we're, you, you know, you were, you're talking about interviewing the founder of the company who's now close to 80. You're going to, you're talking about the previous people who were in here. And I said, all they're going to talk about, or all they're going to do is going to date this even further. Yeah. Uh, quite frank about the history. Yes, in terms of okay, forty some years. Wow, cool founders understand it. Good enough. Now tell me the story. Like yeah. now, you know what I mean. Like I don't know how far back in time you have to go to make this a valid um, proposition. Because I said if you know if we go the way we're going, all we're doing is solidifying the fact that we are geared toward fifty five, sixty plus. Yeah. So I said, you got to really think of this. I said, if you want to do this, I have no issue in it. But if we're going to do a video, I don't want to focus on this history aspect as much as I want to focus on, you know, the cool stores that we are in now. Sure. Yeah. Talk about the history. So do he some wants the video awesome. to acquire this kind of 25 to 40 year old. Well, I think ultimately that's where, that's where the company needs to be and wants to be. But like, I just where, think this rushed video, video was going to be going down a different path. Yeah. And it's not going to match the market, the overall marketing of what you wanted the marketing to be. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, sort of? yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I, I'm, uh, I, yeah, I mean, I guess it's a classic case of look like what's hot in the market right now is, you know, in content marketing is to do video and be more engaging. Awesome. Absolutely. And, and, and know, someone's probably cool, said that, you know, and, and so, <laughs> Yeah, you you want to do it, but he doesn't have the base for it, right? Like you, you, yeah, you don't have an audience that's looking at at that. Do, do, do you see what I mean? And that's what I yeah. brought back. I said, I said, yeah. you know our audience. I said, Phil has seen your analytics. What's who's our audience? And he looked at me. I said, exactly. I said, yeah. sixty plus. He goes, yeah. I said, what are we gonna? Why are we talking? Why are we gonna talk yeah. about prenatal vitamins? Yeah. With, with a group that's 25 years past childbirth, right? And yeah. I said, if the whole company really right now, if all the market is geared toward those people, I said that even your listing base, if you look at stores, is yeah. going to be skewed and old. I said, if we want to do this, I have no issue doing it. But I think we need to really sit down and say, okay, maybe we should take a look at who we really want to be when we grow up, have the video reflect that, yeah, and start going forward. And let's now put a marketing program into play, a marketing strategy, figure out who our personas are. Who are we? Who do yeah. we talk to? Yeah. How do we talk to them? Yeah. Right. And if the 25 to 45, so we really want to go after, then we need to start talking to them. And I think everything single item in the product range can lend to that group. Just yeah. not the way they're marketing it. Yeah. 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 I mean, you know, it's, it's good advice. I mean, you, you don't, you really don't want to spend the kind of cash that you need to spend on a good video and then find out like nobody's watching it. Right? Seven to 10, um, seven to 12. 
I think it's a bit cheaper now. Like I think you can okay. get, I think you can get into, but Five, not eight? a ton cheaper, like four to six ish. Okay. Uh, still four to six. Uh, you, you know, and that's, that's probably for like a two, two and a half minute spot. Yeah. Um, but, but you know, that's, that's a good chunk of change for something that no one's going to watch. You know, because because yeah. it's nothing's in isolation, right? Like, you know, um, so so for listeners, we, we've Kenny and I have kind of circled this a little bit, and uh, he's he's working with Kenny now, um, but but I think I was kind of hard on him with analytics when he sent me his numbers. When he sends me his numbers, what we see is exactly what we've been talking about: is that he's got, you know, a, a really old base, right? And he's spending a good chunk of change on you know, all sorts of marketing mechanisms, whether it's social media or otherwise to attract an audience, but it's almost like he, um, you know, it's like he can't change that, that spout, right? Is that he's got this, you know, 60 year old coming in to buy stuff. Um, you know, it, it, uh, yeah, you yeah. just, it's exactly. hard to shoot a magic commercial and say, this is it, right? Like this two and a half minute spot, um, is going to change everything for us, right? You, you really need to kind of go back and do all the elements and get it right. And I think you do. And I think sometimes the more you talk about it. Yeah. So I showed him the video that those um, um, students did of me for the coffee bar. Yeah. I said, what I want to do is I said, if you take a look at that, I said, the reason for that video was, you know, at one time we wanted to attract more millennials to the bar. But the reality is, the way we conduct our business, the way our brand is, is in the market, the mm -hmm. coffee company, mm -hmm. it, the bar goes with it. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, where we have the coffee listed and probably who we're talking to is not really a millennial. Yeah. Right. It's probably yeah. going to be a Gen Xer and probably yeah. into a baby boomer. Yeah. So I said, when I did the, the discussion with the kids um, about what the bar was about, I said to make it authentic, it, it needed to come from, from me. And I'm not a, I'm not a millennial. Right. But yeah. I can tell you why the bar started and what we want to do. And the bar is really all about the neighborhood yeah. and, and make it in a place for the neighbor to hang out and to be a part of all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But, you know, but it's not, a, that's, that's what it had to be. Now, if you want to do the, the, so if you go into the bar, for example, it will sort of match more. Like, I think it's got a cool vibe to it, but I don't think we're ever going to attract really young millennials. There's so many when they speak a different language and it's yeah. different, yeah. but we can get in our bar, probably a lot of people in that 35 to 55, yeah. which is just good by us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. It's probably the right group. It fits us better. It's more comfortable for us. Like it yeah. just fits. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So then all your marketing, all the important things yeah. to that group is what you talk to. And, and you right. start and you say things in the way that a 35 to 55, like that's probably exactly. I can't so talk critical to, to the process, right? Like, you know, yeah. You watch modern family. What's that? You watch Modern Family? Uh, here and there. Here and there, yeah. Okay, well, the father, Phil Dunphy, is, is, yeah. is, is exactly what we would be if we tried to be a millennial. The dumbass shit that he says just kills you because yeah. the kids always, you know I know I laugh at? Because my kids always say, I'm Phil. Yeah. I'm Phil Dunphy. And I said, you know, you guys honestly go, but well, you're cute, Dad. It's okay to be Phil yeah. Dunphy. I said, yeah, but he looks like a loser. Yeah. Well, sometimes, Dad, you know, you still say the right things. Oh, man. <laughs> I know. I know I'm not allowed to use, uh, you know, the word lit. Yeah, uh, don't, we're not allowed to use that. That's yeah, I'm not allowed to use that word. So I, I actually, I think one time you wrote nice, you know, in nice, noise. Yeah, noise. No, you're not allowed to use that either. Yeah. yeah, don't, yeah. Don't do no, that. I'm allowed to use noise because I know how to use it, but lit is uh, literally Even beyond. Noise, though, you know what? It's not the yeah. fact you know how to use it. Look yeah. at you. I know. I know. You're not that guy. But it's just not, yeah, yeah. And I'm not allowed to use it anywhere. Well, partly one, because I don't understand how to use it. And then two, it's like. <clears throat> yeah, it's like that. Like seriously? <laughs> seriously, that? <laughs> yeah. It's not that you are the loser. You're making us look like the losers. Yeah, yeah that's exactly it. Yeah. yeah I know. Well, I get it. Yeah. Well, I hope I hope you help him get turned around. He, he really does have a great uh, brand uh, okay all right we 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 yeah no what we're yeah. gonna do is honestly like and i and i've and I, you know what and it's and he wanted me to talk to you yeah i mean talk to you tonight we don't have to talk online but it, yeah, yeah. it's good online because it's good content for other people yeah. To understand. yeah this is the shit that really goes on in the real world yeah. of business yeah. but no he wants to talk and i said listen i said what we should what i said I, i'll do is i'll talk to phil 
And we should, we really need to stand, stand or start at ground zero. Let's figure yeah. it out. Yeah. The, the video is important and it yeah. needs to be expedited. Yeah. But I said, really, we should, we should sit first and, and really try to figure out yeah. a, a, a relatively um, tight, clean ish brand strategy. What, what do yeah. we want to do? Yeah. I said, it'll take us months. Yeah. The category is the category. I mean, there's enough. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then I said, then we film a video within those contacts. Yeah. Yeah. I said, that's the group we want to go after. But then I said, yeah. we have to read, look at all we do. Yeah. I said, your web page needs to be fixed. Yeah. Your social mediums need to be fixed. Yeah. Your Google search or how, how people find you. I said, yeah. all needs to be fixed. Yeah. Because we went through the web page. I said, your web page isn't bad looking. I said, but if people are finding you, via the content guess who you're talking to again so i said yeah. it's not the content's wrong yeah you're, you're not you're not the yeah. people that you want aren't searching for the words you have buried yeah. into this this arena it's not yeah. it's not resonating well and, and i think the thing is is like once you get that stuff like once we get that stuff sorted out the video gets easier because 100%. you're all of a sudden driving the right audience which means along the way hopefully what you're finding <clears throat> is someone that you go oh crap she should be in the video Right. Exactly. Like, like we, you know, this lady showed up because we found her. She bought the product. She loves the product. She should be in the video. How do we do right. that? Um, you know, and then that start, stuff starts to happen, exactly. right? so, which is pretty. Now, if he's looking for a younger Asian market, like we're talking, uh, you know, HK and the mainland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you want that 35 to 45 year old, which there's a boatload of them there. I mean, obviously yeah. the population base is massive. Yeah. Then what they want to aspire to is the same person here. Yeah. Just here. Yeah. I said, but again, yeah. the way we, we talk, we're going to potentially have a young person talking, but the whole brand screams grandmother. Yeah. Like yeah said, it really it's not going to work. Yeah. 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 So anyway, this is a project that we actually have to um, start talking about or trying to figure yeah. out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, maybe take it from, from ground zero. Yeah. Now the rest of this we can take offline, but it was yeah. just one of those ones. I guess what I wanted you got to, what I'm trying to show people is, you know, the idea is great, and I think a video would be very cool, and I get it all. Yeah. But you know, as a contractor, I'm there and thinking, oh, man, no. Yeah, Not I mean, yet. I think you could, you know, like I, I think as contractors, you could literally go, sure, I'll help you shoot a video. Oh, I could. I, right? could, I could listen. I can phone a bunch of people right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a video done. Yeah. Um, big deal. Yeah. But, you know, what at the end of it, you know, at the end of it, when they go, oh, my God, I, I sank like, you know, six grand plus all the marketing, the support that goes around it. I sunk 10 grand into this. I didn't get anything, you know, like I think that's I think that's what makes us different. Right. Because, you know, like not all contractors are bad people. I just think that you and I are in that place where we go, listen, dude, like. Well, you know what it is? Yeah. He's more of a friend yeah. too, right? Or I want, you know, like I like him. I yeah. like him. He's a nice yeah. guy. I don't, I don't yeah. want to, you know, yeah. Yeah. I don't want I mean, to. I can make some money on everything. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, you know, you know there's ways to make fun. money in ways that I just don't want to make money. And that's just a way I don't want to make money. Yep. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Right? Yeah. That's exciting. That's exciting. That'll be fun. That'll be well, fun. Get ready. Buckle up yeah. because I'm yeah. probably going for the ride. Okay. Just got to figure out how the hell to do it, but um, it's fine. Yeah, there's some interesting pieces in there for sure, for sure. Yeah, and and then for that, you know, the other social media stuff, you have some folks yeah. in Ontario that want to use. Uh, yeah. Who did the video? Um, I may have another school project that can tie into it. Yeah. You know, but I don't know. Yeah. We can figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. The rest we can talk offline. It was just more to get people a, you know, when a, a listen to is sometimes help. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, that's How cool. Things going. That's know. so cool. Hit the brakes. Yeah. Very Hit cool. Hit the brakes. Yeah. Okay, so apparently you're still on holiday mode. So what the hell have you done this week? I, uh, you know what? I've I've actually got a lot of things going on. I um, I've been sorting. You know, like I'm streamlining my life a little bit. Um, so I'm cutting back a little bit on Centennial. Um. I was supposed to teach three courses this semester. I'm going to teach one. You're going to, uh, yeah, both. 
Because I'm a teacher if you're not careful. I yeah, know. yeah. So I'm, I'm going to dial it back. I'm going to teach one. I had to teach one online and then the other two I've given away already um, or given back to Centennial so they can redeploy and have somebody else do them. Um, yeah. The, uh, the other thing that I do, I almost never talk about it, but um, I do some coaching for um, a couple of organizations. The guys that do, um, so Jack Canfield, who does Chicken Soup for the Soul and some of those guys, um, I do some coaching. So he lands cool. clients that, um, you know, he, he, uh, he needs people to coach for. So I'm one of his coaches. So I've got a couple of um, mentees that, um, are looking to build e-com businesses. Um, right on. so I'm, I'm helping them coaching them through. So I got to get those guys kind of dialed up and, um, and going. So I've been working on that. Um, I also landed, uh, they're called, they're, um, they're kind of cool, but they're, they're really weird and very niche. So it, the company's called NIMI, uh, N Y M I. Um, and they do, mm -hmm. At first blush, they look like a smart watch company, but they are not. They're actually a security encryption company. So they do bio, uh, bio encrypted security um, with a watch that looks like a smart watch, but really reads your electro. Um, um, they're called NIMI, N Y M I. Um, one of my, one of my jobs is to fix. Uh, exactly what you're about to Google uh, because okay. they're all of their online stuff kind of points to a watch. Um, but really what they are is they're in a crypto company. So they do some really um, neat bio encryption stuff that reads fingerprints, matches it with your uh, enterprise authentication. Yeah. 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 yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, well that does, um, that's, that took me to that. Yeah. So, Where's the watch? you know, um, should be there as well, um, unless they've they've done some work over the holidays. But but uh, a lot of it points to watch type stuff. Oh, there's the watch now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone thinks that they're a watch company, even though they're they're not. They're really enterprise, um, you know, security. Uh, they use it for uh, manufacturing facilities and all sorts of things like that. Oh, shit, so this very is cool. Yeah, it's very cool. It's very niche. Um, but but helping them one, figure out how to fix some of that perception stuff. They get a lot of phone calls of people that say, hey, we'd like to buy your watch and use it with other things. Um, but it's not really what they do, right? Well, so the watch is, you know, is, is obviously all yeah. meant for this. Yeah, it's you really a delivery cool, mechanism, right? right? You got uh, the cannabis industry exploding. Yeah. Because yeah. Um, anyway, some of the aspects of, this, of what the picture show yeah. is, is lab work, et cetera, where yeah. you want security and you want some yeah. numb nuts going into that. You know, yep. the other aspect where it might be kind of cool, I mean, I'm not to say to do this, obviously, yeah. but uh, you know that in BC or BC or in Lower Mainland, Transit came out with a wristband that was uh, sold yep. so people could use the Transit. Yep. Yeah, but yeah. They, they did 5,000 wristbands, and I can't remember what they were, 10 or 20 bucks, sold yeah. out within hours. Yeah. Yeah. Right? But something that's actually a little slicker to watch like yeah. a, a wear, wear, pardon me, that is a watch, but yeah. could also be linked in potentially to that yeah. world. Yeah. And I don't have to worry about shit. I mean, seriously, that is. Yeah. No, then if you, it's, you're it's, transit, it's, now if you, well, no, not going to people freaking out about data, yeah. but shit, if you could start figuring out how like people are using your transit yeah. within neighborhood, like, oh my God, you could go yeah. loony to it's, that it's one. Cool shit. It's cool shit. So, like, holy shit. Yeah. Man. Yeah. So, so anyway, that's, that's so awesome. I'm going to do some work with these guys and uh, pretty excited about that. That'll be pretty fun. Um, and then, and then, you know, so the other thing that pops up every spring, cause I go and I speak at global pet every year, but yeah. I'm, I'm writing an article for a, a pet magazine. I've just gotten two more requests for interviews with pet magazines. So every year around spring, awesome. Great category. pet like loses its mind, uh, which is really funny. So, um, you know, so I'm, I've got a bunch of that stuff on the go as well. So Great categories. Though. That's yeah. awesome. Oh, I love pet. I love that. We're, we're working on it too. Eh? So my youngest daughter, um, figured out how to do this. So she pitched us, she actually put together a deck and pitched us why we should have a dog. Um, I know, I know she actually did, uh, you know, she did the whole PowerPoint thing and everything. So now we've got a jar we're saving for a dog. Um, I had her research what the average cost of a dog is, um, you know, and she looked it all up and she said, you know, 
first year cost if you if you buy a dog from a breeder is like two grand um, you know, with, with like health costs and, you know, all that stuff in there. So we're now, you know, raising funds for that. Right. So it's yeah, uh, good for them, right? Yeah. 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 It's kind of funny. So, you know, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I know, I know. So, you know, so we're on this path now, but, but anyway, so yeah, I'm up to all sorts of really, really kind of neat stuff. Um, yeah. Kind of interesting. Um, cool shit though that your stuff's fun though right it's more yeah. um like my stuff is, is still pretty old school your stuff's got some cool like high techy yeah. it's just cool shit right yeah 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 no it's cool man i um i i think i th- i mean this is part of why i like it right is you know you think of where i was in september of last year you know i was doing all this um teaching and i had all this other stuff on the go and now you look you know so from September to January, it's really only four months, right? But, you know, the mix of my job has changed or what I think my, you know, um, the mix for the next four months is going to change. You know, the clients change, like all sorts of things are different now. And uh, I think this is, yeah. And I think that's it's, what you, yeah, right? I, like I, you start doing thinking. Yeah. That sounds like a cool thing. I yeah. don't know if I like that anymore. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not as cool as I thought it was. This yeah. other shit's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But that's, that's the beauty of sort of doing what we do. It's funny. I had yeah. I talked to someone last week who was, um, it's been in the industry for a long time too, as, as a, as a marketing person yeah. and working for somebody, working for somebody and, you know, reached out because I think a lot, I think again, because, you know, when you're stupid enough to leave a job at 50 is you sort of become, I think they all wait. Okay. If two years later, he still seems to be alive obviously eating because he definitely hasn't lost any weight <laughs> maybe there's something to this thing because if that bozo yeah. can do it hey there's yeah. some odds in this game so i get these i get a lot of i get a lot of bar visits where i sit yeah. down and they'll say okay well what, what do you what, and i tell them say yeah. listen i i you do i said listen if i can do it you can do it i said what you need is you got to no. be perseverant yeah right you got to use your contacts yeah. And you've got to just be willing to get 700 no's. But you just keep, you just keep plugging this and just be persistent. I said, but the, there is stuff out there, especially okay. if you're good at yeah. what you're doing. If you, you know, if you've developed a reputation, which most, you know, these people have in their respective fields, I said, there is lots of work out there and it's I, cool work. But you know what? The only thing I, so I'm this, I'm like you, right. And, you know, like having crossed over in from, uh, you know, when I cross from brand to retailer and then retailer to startup and then startup to freelancing, like all of those were, you know, like, like in the industry, even you and I crossing from, you know, the big company world into freelancing is, yeah. is something that's rare and, you know, it's becoming more common, but it's common now, isn't know, it? Uh, you know, Kenny, honestly, I, I think it's not as common as we think it is. Um, I, mean, I seem to think everybody wants to do something like this now. Wants it. Everybody wants it. And so I think the door knockers that you get that I get are people that want to do it. And then, um, I would say that out of the, you know, kind of 10, 15 people I get every month, you know, kind of knocking on doors and trying to figure out how we do what we do maybe one of them goes freelance and most of the rest of them go, they go back to work. Yeah. They go back to work. Cause they realize like, that's not a critique. no, 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 there's no critique there. I just think, I think, you know, we do, we call ourselves dummies and, and we kind of do this stuff, but to do, what we do, you know, you do kind of have to have a bit of a, a stronger gut um, for anxiety and some of those things while you figure out yeah. what it looks like. Right. So, well, uh, because again, I mean, the, the, there's no steady, no, no. Right. Well, the only thing that's steady is, yeah, I don't know. Even Thursday night's not steady because we've moved this and you can't record sometimes. <laughs> so there's really no steadies in the world. <laughs> there are no steadies in the world now. Sooner or later it happens, but yeah. it just may not happen yeah. when you want it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, and I, I mean, I, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I don't know. I mean, it's just I really don't think, you know. Again, I don't. I don't think what we do is massively complicated, um, or or not doable by by. I mean, again, I think a lot of it. Yeah, I mean, if you don't have any expertise, it's tough to do anything. But if you've got an expertise in an area, there's 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 room out there. There really is. 
but it's hard know, to find good people. Yeah. It's hard to find yeah. people you can trust. It's, you know, and, and yeah. there's a lot of good people out there who want help. Yeah. I, I think, I think it's also the talent of finding out how to extract data, right? You know what I mean? Like, like yeah. there are a lot of people in corporate worlds where they know the jobs and they know them very well. Right. And, and, you know, God bless them because they know their jobs. But then when you take them out of that environment, drop them a new one, they don't know how to pull out the factoids they need from the jobs that they've done yeah. um, to be able to go and apply it. Right. And so I yeah. think there are moments there, um, you know, but uh, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe you're right. I think I, I mean, just I gave think... us an awkward pat on the back. Um, uh, yeah, I know. I understand what you're saying. I guess it's <laughs> little, yeah. well, because we're not good at that either. Right. Because no, it's no, pretty, what it's about, pretty terrible right? at it. Actually, it's kind of, yeah, I mean, yeah. Like seriously, I mean, I figure honestly, I figure, man, if I can do it, I mean, anybody can do it. I really do. I and I don't, no. I'm not even disbelieve I like that. So. I think if you if you just you just it's 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 a lot of it. You just got to nut up and just sort of do it. Easy to say, you know. I talked a long time about doing. I finally did. I'm glad yeah. I did. Yeah. Now and again, yeah. if you if you if you don't have if you don't have um, you, you got to have you got to be able to buy some time. Yeah. Because you know, as I learned too, I mean, it it didn't it didn't happen nearly as fast as I thought it would. Mm -hmm. And there were points in there I thought this is obviously oh, not going to work. Yeah, yeah, right. This is this is. A, I mean, I I just I'm, I can't do this. Yeah. And then, like you said, before you know it, it's but a but boom. You're thinking, okay, shit, this has got to slow down a little bit because yeah, you know, you were yeah. you know we're using the word freelance, and now I'm going to sound like Kent. You know, maybe there's a, maybe we should be forming an agency. Yeah. Because you know. Yeah. There's there's so much stuff out there, yeah. and there are people that are just looking for, yeah. you know, good honest help. Yeah, and you know, I, I they, apparently it's a little harder to find. Yeah, than what you think. I think so. I I'm on that path. I don't want an agency, but yeah. I want. I think you and I are actually trailblazing this one because I don't think a lot of people do this. I think what we really want to be is a node along the way, um, you know, and so I'll use Rachel Farewell, who we've talked about on the show and yeah. I've given a free plug and God, I love that, that girl. She's, um, she's amazing. Um, but what, um, what I love is, you know, she's, she wants to get on the path of being a freelancer, but she didn't know how to do it. Right. And so, you know, I just said to her, well, listen, like, here's some things you can do. Right, like here's some things you can do. Here's some things you can do, and so when you start chucking enough stuff at her, you know, all of a sudden now we're in business together. We're doing stuff together. We share a bunch of stuff, and now she's freelancing. Um, and I feel like we are, you know. So I, I finally got around to listening to Kent's episode, and and he is the smart guy who's ridiculously young. I told you, um, he's he too is smart. He's too smart to be a 32 or 33 year old. Like he talks like he's 90. Ken, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I like Kent anymore. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, but Kent, Kent, you're ridiculous. Um, whatever you do in life, you're going to be amazing. Oh, I also wrote him a LinkedIn recommendation. Um, just cause I, I literally did it while I was listening to his podcast while he was talking about not thinking about, um, you know, so can't go in and, and accept the LinkedIn recommendation that I wrote you. Um, but I think that we're on a different, slightly different path where as you start to tie these nodes together, I don't think you need an agency these days. What I think you need is a network of trusted people like you and I, we trust each other. I trust Rachel. We trust Shanane. Um, Absolutely. You no know, production. And, I trust uh, Linda. Yeah. No, you Linda owns I mean? all of us. Start looking no. around at the people you trust. <laughs> Listen, yeah. there yeah. cannot be an episode without Linda. Okay. No, sure. no, Linda owns this whole Otherwise, thing. She's, she's like the godmother of the whole thing. Next, so. Oh my God, what yeah. happened? Yeah, yeah. You know, and then sooner or later, I feel like we're going to pay <laughs> the price for that. She's like Oprah, you know, she just owns the whole thing. So, but anyway, but, uh, but, but I, you're right. I think and then what she does, I don't care to be involved in any of it outside of hey yeah do you know somebody yeah i do yeah right and again you know as long as that person um who's asking for the help finds good help yeah. with our contacts yeah that's awesome now yeah. if we if we can benefit from it that's good too yeah that's great too yeah but yeah. you know if the yeah. if the worst benefit is is that we just help somebody out quite frankly that's that's, no, that's okay too yeah that's better than okay yeah. that's that's awesome yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm kinda... And again, I think that that kills the agency, though. See, so ultimately, maybe we are like, where where is the you know, if if you get an if you get enough, if you get enough shitheads like us out there doing this, yeah. what does that do for the agencies? Because we don't need the overhead. I don't have to. We don't have to. You know what I mean? 
yeah. costs become, a, you know, it's a lot easier yeah. to, to bug some of us and, you know, and if, you know, as long as we can all work together yeah. here and there, but we're all yeah. freelancing. But I think big companies will always want agencies. I get that. But yeah. you know what? Big companies, how many big companies do you know anymore? I mean, we know a lot, so that's not what I mean. Yeah, if you yeah, go yeah. back to the, yeah. you know, the Fortune 500 of yeah. 15 years ago to the Fortune 500 today, yeah. there's still a 500, but there's not a whole shit li- li- behind to get on the 500 yeah. because there's yeah. not a lot of big companies. Every time there's a big company, one bigger guy takes them. There's a boatload in the middle, though. But, but I'm okay with that, right? So I love you know, that. if agencies want to live in that top Fortune 500, That's all they've got I'm good, to. right? Because I don't, I don't I want, want that it. business, right? Like I, I have no desire you know, for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, My point well, is that pool is getting yeah. smaller. Yeah. Yes, the contracts are huge. And yes, yeah. they'll probably always want an agency. Yeah. But you're an agency, let's say, that does J&J. How yeah. are you going to do Betty's you know, toy emporium? Mm-mm. And Betty might have 10 locations and Betty's yeah, a good little size. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, they're looking thinking, well, f- shit, man. Yeah. We our we our overhead. Yeah. You know, just the lights, never mind the overhead of the overhead is, yeah. is, is we can't do it. We can't even yeah. pitch on that type of business. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And there's not yeah. a lot of agencies yeah. left that can do small guys. They are mostly for all focused. Yeah. It seems in the higher, bigger guys. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know? No, I like it. I, I like where we are. I like the I way it. we're positioned. And uh, it'll be interesting, really. Um, you know, I'm we're really, going to come up for a new word now. So we're, so we're not going to be freelancers completely. Didn't even know how an agency. So what is it? No, I don't know. We're just I don't know what we are. Disruptor. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think of it as like a node, but I don't. That's kind of we can be disruptive. That's sort of disruptive. Can we be disruptive? I don't know. Yeah, well, I want to be disruptive or a disruptor. See, Ken, tell Ken to figure out a way to make us a disruptor. If shit, how he does it, just, just, Can't you know, he talks out. all the cool shit. I don't know. I want to be. I want. I want him I want to say, cool yeah, word. those two guys that are like disruptors or something. Yeah, you you want a you want a cool word for us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like yeah, it. but but uh, you know, yeah. I mean, and, and I think I don't, don't think there's a lot of people that do. We, yeah. Yeah, I think if you're out there and you're listening to us, I don't. And, uh, you know, if you're you're going to be in this, I think people, you know, let us know and see what we can do, right? Like, uh, reach yeah. out so we can we can include you in the node, and then figure out how we uh, we tie you to things, right? Love. Yeah, because I think what the challenge you have in today's world is it's such. It's, I think you and I talked about this a while ago. It's such a world of. You know, if I do something for you, that means I, you know, I expect you to do something for me, right? Yeah. yeah. And when you get into those payback type worlds, this doesn't work. Mm-hmm. I mean, what we do, I don't think is the norm. And I think the reason there's not is what people are scared. Like the, the, the shit that we talk about on this, that people can or I've gone back and I just listened to what we talked about most because I can't remember the hell we've talked about. <laughs> is if you go back and listen. Yeah. Well, because we don't rehearse, so it's not like yeah, I can go no. back and go, hey, uh, script for episode yeah. 35. I don't even yeah, know what yeah, 35 yeah. is about. Yeah. I read yeah. your caption, I'm thinking, nah, I, don't, I don't remember that one. Yeah. 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 Right? But if you look at it, sometimes the little bit of free tidbits that we throw out, I mean, you could pay thousands of dollars because the, the person is so freaked out about the knowledge, about giving their knowledge for free. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. As opposed to saying, you know what, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm there with you. I'm there with you. I like it. I like it. Yeah, tell Kent we just need a we need a new def. We don't want to be an agency or a freelancer anymore. We need a cooler name than a name. Yeah, we need a cooler name. First off, yeah. he's younger. Okay, yeah, bottom yeah. line. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely smarter than me. Maybe on par with he was smarter than me. So he's got this is his job. Kent, Kent. It'd be interesting to see where that guy goes. Uh, I'll be interested to see what happens to him. Ah, he'll end up on some freaking magazine cover oh, before he knows. Yeah, he'll be on Fortune. He'll be driving a Tesla before he knows. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man, I love it. It's all good, man. I love all it. All good in the hood. Yeah.